Yeah, and it's almost an everyday thing. Living in Sacramento, being homeless. My perception is there's a lot of people out there that look down on homeless people. I was homeless out here for eight years. You know, rising, rising rents and falling wage collided. And I just wound up without a place to be. I lost a three bedroom home. They threw all my stuff in the streets and you know, the dumpster came by and picked it up. I lost books that I had that were out of print. Uh, uh, albums that, that were jazz, that were uh, classical music that I, I know I'll never be able to retain. I'm 60 years old. I'm too old to work. As they say, I was a carpenter, and I'm too young to get Social Security. <laughs> you know, you have to get that at 62. So I'm betwixt and between. It's hard to find work. And definitely when we all know Sacramento is really hard. Everybody's only one paycheck away from becoming homeless. There ain't gonna be no middle class. It's only gonna be the rich and the poor. I lost my job. I used to be a taper. I used to make mattresses, hideaway beds, sofas, and stuff like that. So you sew them, you know, and the company went out of business. They sold out the orthopedic mattresses. <laughs> I've been homeless for nine years. I lost my social security. Couldn't pay the rent. Tried to get a job, but because of my disabilities, I have to let future employers know that I'm epileptic and as soon as empl employers know that I have epilepsy, oh sorry, we can't deal with you, that's too much of a liability. So I just try and survive. I had custody of my kids and I just started using again. And you know, it was just one thing led to another, and I just went all the way to the bottom. I came from an abusive home, and I was a runaway at 16. Um, my mother was an alcoholic, and so uh, that's all I knew is that kind of life. Um, it was drinking and drugging, so I didn't have to feel. And it just spiraled out of control. I just stayed on the streets, and I learned how to survive. <laughs>